Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video which is going to be my reflection on last year's makeup resolutions, check in how did I do, how did I get on, did I achieve my resolutions as well as sharing with you guys what my makeup resolutions are going to be for 2023. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching. Okay, so if you're new here, then I should explain what is going on here. So each year on my channel, I like to set myself five resolutions that are like beauty, makeup, focused for myself, things I want to achieve, things I want to do more, things I want to do less, things I want to stop, things I want to start and things I want to improve. So I do that every year and every year I like to bring you guys along with me, let you know what my resolutions are going to be and let you know how I got on and some of you guys like to join in with me and share what your resolutions are going to be as well in the comments. Please do that if you're going to set yourself some resolutions, if you're going to join in with mine and let me know what they are in the comments section. So for 2022, I set myself my usual five makeup resolutions. I feel like these are like an easy, doable, achievable number to kind of focus on. So the first of these wake up resolutions was to try more brands. Obviously I'm high end luxury, that's what I love, that's what I focus on here on my channel. Uh, but there are lots of brands that I had never tried before and there's always new brands popping up everywhere. And I'm definitely someone who like sticks to my comfort zone. You know, I know the brands that I like, I know the brands I love, I know the brands that I've had lots of successes with and products that I've just fallen in love with. And there's a real temptation for me to stick to those brands. So this year I really wanted to like push myself outside of my comfort zone and try as many brands as I could, new brands, just a couple of products, see what I like, see what I don't, see what's for me. So I kept a bit of a list, and I'm sure I've missed some off of here, but I kept a bit of a list of the brands that I've tried new this year, brand new brands to me this year. And there are 11. I'm really happy with that. I think that's a tick, 11 new brands that's like nearly one a month and I'm sure I must have like forgotten at least one I'm sure I have and these are just like beauty brands like not hair care not anything else just beauty makeup brands that I have tried so that was Suku Rare Beauty they came to the UK this year so I was able to try that Hindash new brand to me Adept Cosmetic What's Up Beauty, Florasis, Keys Beauty, that's um, Alicia Keys's brand, RMS. That was a success with those little blushes, wasn't it? BK Beauty brushes, I was able to try those for the first time this year, as well as House Labs, again, a mega hit with their foundation, and Kia Weiss, which is probably the most recent brand that I tried for the first time. So I will definitely say that I achieved that. I think that's a pretty good number, given like how much makeup I have to test and try, and also like the limitations of what is available here in the UK to me, I think I did pretty pretty well, okay? Um, I'll take it. Now, another like resolution that was made with kind of the goal of broadening my horizons, especially what not only what I like and what I'm using and what I'm trying, but what I'm sharing with you guys on my channel. So my second resolution for 2022 was to try more cream slash liquid products. You guys know me, I am a powder girl. I prefer powders when it comes to cheek products. Well, anything eyeshadow also uh, but I really wanted to push myself and just try more creams because the only way I'm going to find you know ones that I like is to try more isn't it if I just sort of can't like cancel them out I'm I'm not buying I'm not trying any creams or liquids I'm never going to find any that I like that way so I decided to push myself to review more because I know it's helpful for you guys you know I know what I like but I'm a makeup review channel. I'm supposed to be reviewing stuff and helping you guys. And a lot of you love creams and liquids. And I also think reviews from me when I'm like a cream hater are especially helpful because if I like a cream or a liquid product, it must be phenomenal because I don't like many. So I feel like they're actually quite useful when I'm not so good with creams. I'm not used to them. I'm not practiced with them. I don't have a lot of experience using them. So I feel like actually reviews are quite helpful for me because if I can make it work and if I like it, it must be 
amazing. So yeah, my aim was to try more, to review more, to use more creams and liquids. And again, I'm gonna say I smashed this one out of the park. Just off the top of my head, I tried cream shadows and blushes from MAC. The Rare Beauty blushes that I actually really like. I tried cream products from Patrick Ta. I tried, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzers, as well as her matte eyes to mesmerize, which, you know, was a fail. There's got to be a fail in there somewhere, as well as new shades of her eyes to mesmerize, the shiny, lovely formula. The Lisa Eldridge eyeshadows, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury travel kits that were cream, you know, the sticks. Victoria Beckham, Kia Weiss. I tried a lot of creams, okay? Way more, maybe not a lot of creams, but a lot for me and a lot more than I ever have before. So I think I can keep going with that. I think I can do more. I think I can try more. I definitely haven't been converted. I think, not that I was trying to force a conversion on myself, but um, I definitely have found some creams that I actually like. And the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer was like, a revolution for me because that's the first sort of cream product that's actually made it into my regular rotation that's made it into like my favorite bronzers or my favorite product in the category that's actually a cream it's actually lives in my top drawer so we did have a breakthrough so that was a success i need to keep going i can do more i can try more for sure uh but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna take that one as well Okay, so my third resolution was to find a new Holy Grail primer. So if you remember, in 2022, I mean, for years now, actually, for several years, my Holy Grail primer was the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I've been through several of the solid, and I also tried the liquid this year and went through a whole one of those. I love both the liquid and the solid. Probably the solid, I think, is my favourite. There's pros and cons between the two, but they're both amazing primers. However, up until a couple of months ago you couldn't get Tatcha here in the UK so I always had to get a friend from the US to ship it to me it's a very expensive way of doing it and even more so expensive was to pay for shipping from Tatcha's website or from one of the resale websites so there were no official stockists of Tatcha in the UK up until a couple of months ago so that was the reason for setting myself that resolution like I didn't want to have to have it sent to me it was a real pain it took a long time and it was much more expensive if it wasn't available here in the UK so I really wanted to try lots of primers rather than just accepting touch as my you know my holy grail and I'm gonna have to live with this situation forever because at that stage there was no sign or hide or hair of them from coming to the UK so I decided to make a search for a new holy grail primer that would beat the Tatcha and I would no longer care that I couldn't get it in the UK and I 100% did it. I found my Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Primer. It is my new holy grail. I prefer it to the solid and the liquid Tatcha. I just find it a bit smoother. I find I, it's easier using like having the pump situation. It's beautiful to apply. I don't need much. It has never whatever I've used it on top of, SPFs, moisturizers, whether I've applied it too quickly after skincare, I have never ever ever had this pill on me or cause a problem with any product and I've ha I've been using this maybe like, I don't know, nine months or something, nearly a year. This one is about to come to the end of its life and I need a new one and it's never ever caused a problem. I can't say the same for either of the Tatcha. You know, I've had issues more so with the liquid as far as pilling can be problematic. This one occasionally, but not not very often. But again, then you've got the pot and, you know, getting it's just less of an easy situation than the pump. So I do prefer like the packaging of this it's just easier easier for travel all of that stuff but it it's just so much smoother i feel like it gives me an absolutely flawless smoothed base very flattering and beautiful without taking any radiance away from my foundation and i definitely notice a difference in wear time and controlling like any oils breaking through throughout the day so we did it smashed it and now of course tatcha is now available in the uk but too little too late that's what I say, that will teach you a lesson, Tadja. My next resolution for 2022 was to perfect or to try to perfect 
the inner corner liner, the fox eye eyeliner. I just love how this looks. It's just beautiful. At the beginning of 2022, I couldn't do it at all. Could not do it at all. I've spent the whole of 2022, I've worked very hard on it. I've tried every technique going. I've tried eyebrow pencil. I've tried using a liner. I've tried different guidelines. I've tried doing it before makeup, after makeup. I've tried every tip and trick that there is in the book, powder, different brushes, every different technique. I've watched a million tutorials on it and I've just practiced a lot. It's still something that is like outside of my comfort zone, but I can do one now and like how it looks and think it looks decent and that nobody is going to like notice or think there's anything wrong with it. That's where we've got to. I'm not confident with it by any means, but I love it. I can do a decent one and it's a working progress. So I'll say that I've definitely got better. I've definitely made some improvements, but it's another one I need to keep going with and just do more and get more confident with because I flip in, if I could do one every day, I would do it. I think it's so flattering. I love how it like elongates the eye shape and it's amazing, but <laughs> it's tough. It is so hard. It's so hard. So yeah, I like it. We're making progress. I'm gonna keep going with it. And my final resolution for 2022 was to use lip liner more often. I just feel like I'm lazy when it comes to stuff like that with, with lips. And I feel like lip liner makes such a big difference just having crisp line, having the shape of your lips be nice and even to keep you know your lipstick wearing longer and I just really like how it looks I always feel like it makes a really big difference especially with either like a bright lip or a nude lip to use a liner I love how it looks but I was really lazy with it so I definitely have used a lot more lip liner this year than I ever have before I also purchased a load of shades from Lisa Eldridge which is probably my favorite what well, it is my favorite lip liner formula so that really helped just having like the right shades available and knowing, you know, which shade to use with these lips, which one is a great shade for nudes, which one goes with the other lipsticks that I use regularly. And now I've kind of got a lip liner for every sort of lip color that I have. And it's really made a difference. It's helped me to wear lighter lipsticks in the summer when I'm more tanned and typically a lot of the colors don't work for me. Like Mimi Rose, for example, finding a lip liner from Lisa Eldridge that goes with that really, really helped me continue to wear some of my favorites in the summer. But I just feel like it looks so beautiful and crisp and elegant when your lips are, you know, perfectly lined and it just is, it gives a sharper finish to the lips, makes them more of a feature. So definitely used it more often and yeah I put a lot into that and I have put my effort into all of these resolutions so I'm going to call that a success it's been a very successful year for my resolutions I don't feel like I failed or did badly on any of them I feel like I did really well on all of them in fact so yeah but now to this year, my resolutions for 2023 I feel like it was tough I really struggled to make these resolutions. Like I, I really had to think for several days to get five things that I feel like I really wanna work on this year. So let's get started. Number one resolution for 2023 is to enjoy my own collection more. It's so hard when you have a YouTube channel and you're busy anyway. I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup like three, maybe four max times a week. And so a lot of those times I'm filming and I just never get to wear or use the makeup that I would choose to if I wasn't filming, you know, or that I just wanna wear that day. And it's really sad. And a lot of the time I feel like there's so many products in my collection that I love and I just never get to use because I've always got to be reviewing something or, you know, using something specifically for a video or whatever I'm talking about. I need to wear that in the video. And the amount of times when I'm doing my makeup and I just have a free choice to use whatever I like is really rare. And so a lot of my most loved products just go unused and neglected. And it's really sad. And you know, the whole reason for starting my channel was because I love makeup and playing with products in my collection. And I don't wanna lose that love and joy and passion for makeup because of doing YouTube. I want to keep that, I want to enjoy my own collection more. So I'm gonna make a real concerted effort not to feel pressured to wear certain products or review certain products and to use 
use my own collection more often, wear what I like more often, whether or not it's new, and just enjoy the products that I want to use more. So that's number one. The second one, which was a bit of a like a fun one to throw in for me, was to try more trends. I fully just ignore all trends, all makeup trends, like TikTok trends, whatever is like the trend makeup wise, I never do any of it. I don't even pay any, any attention to it. And I don't think you should. I don't think you should feel pressured to do what's you know fashionable, what's on trend at the moment. You should do whatever you want to do. But I also do feel like it's just a bit of fun to try something that you would never have thought of or isn't typically how you do your makeup or isn't what you would have chosen to do and just give it a try. It's quite fun. And I feel like it's pushing you out of your comfort zone. And you also also might discover things that you actually love and really work for you that you would not have thought of or tried otherwise. So I am going to start trying out more trends like things I see on TikTok, things I see on social media, things that are just taking off and giving them a try myself. I usually just like eye roll and move on with my life but I'm going to try and be a bit more open-minded in 2023. My next resolution, my product seeking, holy grail seeking resolution of this year. So like last year where I was trying to find a new holy grail primer, in 2023 I want to find a holy grail bronzer. I feel like I have my favourite bronzers. I have several multiple bronzers that I love, um, but I don't have like one to rule them all. You know, when it comes to primer, I'm like, this is it. This is all I need for life. Don't want to put another primer on my face. I have that when it comes to, you know, highlighters. I have it when it comes to concealer. I have it when it comes to powder. I have it when it comes to setting spray. I have it with foundation. There's a lot of products where I feel like I know that is my holy grail. Bar none, that's my favorite. I don't have a bronzer that I feel committed to, that it cannot be beaten, that it's the best there's ever going to be. I just have like, if, if I was forced to choose, I'd choose that one. These are my few faves. So this year, I want to find a bronzer that I'm going to like pan, that I'm going to use, that I'm going to repurchase, that I know is like, cannot be beaten. It's the best of the best. That's what I'm looking for this year. That's what I'm going to try and find. Next up, kind of linked to 2022's resolution of wearing lip liner more. This year, something I want to try and do more is making like considered purposeful choices when it comes to my lip colour. I feel like this is, this is what happens, okay? I do my makeup. Lips are always last. I do my full makeup and then with it like whatever time I've got left I just grab whatever lipstick and I'll put it on you know whichever is nearest really without any thought if I want it's basically do I want a nude do I want a bright lip and then I just pick mostly like the nearest one or the one that's just on my mind at that time. It's never like a thought, this would go with this look, this would look really beautiful, especially not when it comes to combos as well. When it comes to liners, I typically will just grab any one that I think will kind of work. And that's it. I don't really actually think about my lip color ever or like have a plan for my lip color ever. And I feel like I'm really missing out on amazing lip combos. And I'm not using a lot of my lip colors again because I have so many. I definitely need to do a big lip clear out and get rid of a load of lipsticks that I just don't use so I can focus on the ones that I love and actually make thought out lip choices and combinations of liner and lip and gloss and not just like throw on the nearest one. Like if it doesn't look good I'll just wipe it off and put on another one until I get one that looks decent there's never any like I think this color would go great with this that never happens it's just literally the nearest one so I'd like to make more considered lip choices because lip you know lips matter they're not to be neglected they're not just for Christmas and finally this year 2023 I want to discover more creators, more creators that are like my age, my skin tone, that really like give me what I'm looking for when it comes to beauty content. I feel like so many creators are just like hidden gems and waiting to be discovered. And what I've found is that I've found kind of my shade twins over the years. I've got like three other creators on YouTube who I'm like, these are, you know, if they review a foundation before me, I'll go and watch these three people's reviews. I know they're the same shade as me and they're going to help me 
out and they have similar, you know, wants and likes from products. So I know I can count on them. Three, it's not enough. It's not enough. And one of those isn't really doing that much beauty content anymore. I need more. So I'm going to go on a hunt. I'm going to look for more creators who are my shade twin, who are like my preference twin, my likes twin, that we have the same sort of wants and needs and requirements and skin type and age and all of that i need more i need to find more if you have any recommendations please drop them in the comment section i'm on the hunt for new creators to watch especially here on youtube i can't get into like tiktok makeup it's just it's too short so there you have it i'm going to try more trends i'm going to love and use my collection more i'm going to make more considered lip choices i'm going to find new creators and i'm going to hunt a holy grail bronzer down those are my resolutions for 2023 Please let me know if you joined in with me this year, how you got along with your resolutions. Are you joining in for 2023? What are your makeup resolutions? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.